Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install the free WP Reset plugin. This is one of the best plugin that you should have on your WordPress website. This plugin will help you reset your WordPress website back to the default settings. You can also create snapshots and you can use those snapshots to restore your website. If you are using Pro plugin, then you can upload the snapshots on the cloud server and use them in case if you want to restore your WordPress website. So this is one of the best WordPress research plugin that you can use on your WordPress website. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 400,000 WordPress website. This plugin has free as well as a premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin. I'll show you what are the features of the free plugin and what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. The premium version of this plugin will cost you only $39 per year for a single website. If you are a website company or freelancer, then you can go for agency plan which will cost you only $119 per year for 100 different websites. So you can use this plugin on 100 websites and you can create snapshots for all these websites if you want to restore your website using snapshot. There is one more option that will cost you only $49 lifetime for five different websites which is available on AppSumo. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link. So let's see how we can install the free WP Reset plugin to reset the WordPress website back to the default settings. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo website. You will see the home page of this website and I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin on this website. You will see these plugins are already installed and I'm using the Hello Elementor theme. You will see it here. I have already created some demo pages here and I have also uploaded some media files. Basically, I have used the Elementor template kit to create this demo website. Now I'm going to install the free WP Reset plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin and search for WP Reset. This is the plugin WP Reset, most advanced WordPress reset tool. It has been installed on more than 400,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. Let's go to tools and at the bottom you will see WP Reset, click on it. So we are on the dashboard of this plugin. At the top, you will see Reset. And this is the comparison of the free plugin and the premium plugin. You will see these are the settings of the free plugin. Post pages and custom post types will be deleted. You will see data will be deleted, reset or modified. Comments data will be deleted, reset or modified. So for each option, you will see this delete option or you will see this data will not be deleted in the free version. So media files will not be deleted. You can delete that manually. The user will also not be deleted. The site title, WP address, site address, so all these things will not be deleted in the free version. All right, now at the top, you will see tools. If you want to reset theme options, you will see that option here. Delete transients, purge cache, delete local data, delete plugin if you want to delete the plugins only you can simply use this option delete plugins so these are different tools at the top you will see snapshot so before deleting you can also create a snapshot of the website if something goes wrong you can use the snapshot to restore your website so you will see the option here create a snapshot automatic snapshots option is available that is available only for the pro plugin collections you can also create a collection and whenever you want to create a wordpress website then you can use the collection of the theme and the plugins that you mostly use to create any wordpress website so that option is available for the pro plugin then we have support if you need any help you can go to the documentation then we have pro now let's scroll down you will see some information what happens when i run any reset tool always make a backup first or use a snapshot so before you reset the website, you can create a snapshot so that you can use that to restore your website. Okay, now if I go here, you will see site reset that is for the free plugin. 
reactivate current theme currently we are using hello elementor theme so whenever i reset the website it is going to reactivate the hello elementor theme if i check this box so if you want to reset the wordpress website however you want to use the same theme hello elementor then you can enable this option whichever theme you have it will show that here then we have reactivate wp reset plugin we need to reactivate it after reset so that you can use the snapshot also if required reactivate all currently active plugins so if you want to use the same plugins again then you can check this option reactivate all currently active plugins i'm going to uncheck that option now let's reset it you need to enter reset here type in the reset then click on reset site now before that we are going to create a snapshot so click on create snapshot it says before resetting the site this is the title of the snapshot so i'm going to click on create snapshot and it says a snapshot is created now let's go to the snapshot and let's see if we have it there you will see it here the snapshot is created three seconds ago and this is the title you will see 12 standards and four custom tables totaling 1628 rows and this is the size Okay, now let's go back to reset and we are going to reset the WordPress website here. Type in reset and click on reset site. Are you sure you want to reset the site? Click on reset WordPress. All right, now you can see that it is completely different. If I go to pages, you will see the pages are deleted. We have the default post. If I go to media, you will see all the media files are also deleted go to appearance the default 2024 theme is there the hello elementor theme is there but it is not active if i go to user the default user is still there and if i go to website and let's refresh it you will see the default wordpress installation is there all right so your website is resetted let's go back let's go to tools and go to wp reset now, if I want to use these collections of themes and plugins, then I can use this collection here. These are the default plugins that you can use. If you want to add more plugins and themes, then you will need a pro plugin. All right, now let's go to snapshot here. When you click on drop down, you will see different options. Compare snapshot to current data. If you want to compare, then download the snapshot, delete the snapshot, restore the snapshot. Now, if you have pro plugin, you can store this snapshot on the cloud server let's click on restore the snapshot here it says snapshot has been restored now we need to log into the website so i'm logged into the website and let's go to plugins you will see all the plugins are there the pages are there and if i go to website let's refresh it you will see the entire website is live again so you can use the snapshot feature before resetting the WordPress website so that you can restore the website if you make any mistake. All right, now I do have the pro version of the plugin. So I'm going to install the pro version. I have it already downloaded. So I'm going to upload the pro version. All right, so the pro version is installed. Let's go to tools, WP reset pro. And here you need to enter the license key. I'll go to the WP Reset account here. And I have the WP Reset Pro Agency plugin, which is valid for 100 websites. So I can use this Pro plugin on 100 different websites. And I can create the snapshot for all these websites, as well as I can create the collection of themes and plugins that I can use after resetting the WordPress website. So let's go to license and get the license key. And I'm going to add that license key. And let's activate it all right so the pro version is activated let's go to start onboarding everything looks good next configure configure install the script do you want to install the emergency script on your server no i'll install it when needed there is an option in wp reset that is emergency recovery script if something goes wrong with your WordPress website, you are not able to log into your WordPress website, then you can use this emergency recovery script to restore your website. Then you can log into the website and use the snapshot of your website. 
in the pro version the snapshots can also be created automatically so you can use the snapshot and restore your website using the snapshots so this is a great feature of wp reset pro plugin right let's go back to the dashboard you will see one snapshot is already there let's go to collections and we are going to create a new collection here let's name it as a regular collection right whatever name you want you can assign a name then click on add new collection okay now here you can add theme or the plugin so click on add new theme i'm going to use elementor that will be hello elementor all right so i usually create websites using hello elementor theme so i'm going to add this theme in collection click on add new all right so you will see the theme is added let's add plugin also let's start with the basic elementor plugin then add yoast seo all right so i have just added these two plugins now if you have a zip file of the plugin then you can also upload the zip file and that will be stored on the cloud server so i click on add new plugin and that will be zip choose a file so i have the elementor pro plugin in a zip file i'm going to upload that file so click on add new item All right, it says error has occurred no cloud service is enabled so we need to enable the cloud service let's go to settings here and enable the cloud service you need to select one of the cloud service and connect your account with these cloud service and you can upload your zip file on the cloud server from there it will be installed automatically all right so if you have a zip file then you need to enable the cloud service and after that you can upload it to the cloud server all right let's go back to collections here now if i go back to the wp reset dashboard and if i go to collections you will see that collection is created here this is the name of the collection three plugins one theme and if i go to websites here you can see the website on which we have installed the pro plugin it says the site is active and license is working properly you can manage the license from here if i go to settings you will see an option here automatically upload the user created snapshots to the cloud so you need to enable this option after that it is going to upload the snapshot to the cloud server there are other settings automatically create a snapshot to the cloud automatically delete the snapshot after they are uploaded to the cloud so when the snapshot is uploaded to the cloud it is going to delete it from the local server automatically delete automatic snapshots so it is going to delete these snapshots automatically let's go to tools here and let's say i want to delete the theme then i can simply click on this option here delete theme and it is going to delete the theme if you want to delete all the plugins you can simply go to delete plugins and it will delete all the plugins from here so before you reset the wordpress website make sure that you create a snapshot of your wordpress website so this is the plugin that you should have on your wordpress website you can start using the free plugin the pricing of the premium version is only 39 dollars per year for a single website if you are a website designer or freelancer then you can go for the agency plan which will cost you 119 dollars per year for 100 websites and there is one more option here team lifetime by appsumo you can purchase this plugin on appsumo also that will cost you only 49 dollars lifetime so i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.